Well, we talked before the game, uh, you know, at the scouting report that this was going to be a game of runs. Iona's really good, and they have uh, a couple tremendous scores, uh, and, you know, they have the ability to put a bunch of points on in a hurry, and so we jumped out early. I think we are up 13-2, and they went up 19-13 or something like that, so, you know, those are a couple runs. I was proud of our, our team, the way we, in the first half, just kind of battled our way back to take the lead. Uh, where things were not really going well at all in the first half. So uh, I thought defensively we did a really nice job. It was a great game plan by uh, our coaches, Gavin and Amy. They did a great job. But um, And then the second half I thought, you know, we really improved from Friday's game. We had a lead against Montana, and we didn't do very well with it. Uh, we controlled the ball. We took care of it down the stretch the last six, seven minutes. Uh, really executed. I'm proud of them. So this is a good win. Iona's going to win a lot of games this year, uh, and it's good for us to win. Yeah, a little bit early jitters, uh, especially by Christina Johnson. Uh, you know, lots of turnovers in the first yeah. half. But in the last 10 minutes of the game, I think the Tigers had about three total turnovers in the last 10 to 12 minutes. Right, and uh, that Christina was the difference. Because when we were turning it over, we were giving them chances. We'd play really hard, get a great stop defensively, and then be careless with it on the offensive end. And we haven't really done that all year. So it was good for us to fight through that. And in the last eight minutes, really, play, I thought we played really well down the stretch. How nice is it to have Kendall Kenyon back in the lineup? It's nice. And, I, you know, those of us that know her well, we know she's not clicking on all cylinders yet. Uh, but she will. I mean, she had 16 points um, and 10 rebounds. You know, when you have 16 and 10 and we think, like, well, she can still get better, that's when you know you're really good. So it's nice to have her back. And speaking of some kind of unsung performances a little bit, Unique Coleman with five steals and eight rebounds. Unique, Talk about the hustle yeah, plays. I thought she was the difference maker today, even in the first half. She came in when we were going in that through that dry spell and made things happen. Uh, I thought she was tremendous today. And defensively, you know, she was on Martinez most of the time. Uh, and, and Martinez had 21, but, she, man, she's hard to guard. Um, but, you know, I think the real story with Iona, you know, we held Joy Adams to, to three points, which is that's really hard to do. Uh, she is really, really good. So uh, I think that was probably the difference in the game. Yeah, Joy Adams is kind of their Kendall Kenyon. Yeah, she's really, really, really good. And, and uh, we we got we held her to three points and five boards. And uh, if you would have told me we would have done that before the game, I would have taken it. Just kind of put the, the weekend in perspective uh, a little bit with the wins against Montana and Iona, two yeah. postseason teams from a year yeah, ago. Yeah, I think, you know, I told the team on Thursday, you know, this weekend is going to mean something in March. These are two teams that are going to be in the postseason, Montana and Iona. They will be postseason team. They're going to win 20 games each. Uh, they're both really good. And in these games, we can go back and circle this weekend and say these, these wins mattered and they were big. So I'm really proud of our team. We're down a couple players with injuries, and, and we, rat uh, you know, rallied back and showed some toughness. So it's good stuff. It's a good start.